Grand jury report investigating sexual abuse within the Catholic Church will be released tomorrow. It is expected to identify hundreds of clergy members accused of sexual assault over the past 70 years, including some from the Pittsburgh and Greensburg dioceses. Ralph Iannotti spoke with one of the victims tonight, and he joins us live with that part of the story. Ralph. Yeah, thanks very much, Susan. After a number of uh, legal challenges, a scathing grand jury report is expected to be released in just a few hours. We're likely to hear a number of cases of how six Pennsylvania Catholic dioceses tried to cover up the scandal. They swept things under the rug very well. Um, the priest that abused me and uh, three other boys uh, was at a previous parish and was moved to my parish afterwards. 47-year-old Robert Mizick has waited a long time for the release of the grand jury report on Catholic clergy sex abuse. He lives now in the Pittsburgh area. But 35 years ago, Mizick says he was abused by his parish priest at a church in suburban Philadelphia where he served as an altar boy. The grand jury report is expected to detail cases of how predator priests were mishandled by Catholic dioceses across Pennsylvania. And Ralph, that's the true travesty. I mean, uh, to, to, to know that they knew, and they knew, and, and moved these priests uh, to endanger other children is uh, deplorable. After learning of the abuse, Mizick says his mother told church officials and police about the abuse, but no action was taken against the priest. On the eve of the release of the grand jury report, Mizick says the church must face the reality of what took place. I want to see the, the Catholic Church, you know, just accept the facts within the, the report and the Catholic community in general. I'm a Christian. Uh, I'm a faithful Christian. And I'd just like to see the victims get justice from this. Mizick says in his case, the abuse started as sexual, then it was physical and emotional. His answer to those critics who say, why now bring up these clergy abuse cases that occurred so many years ago? I would say uh, walk in my shoes and a survivor's shoes. It's a horrible way of living. I had my uh, puberty stolen from me, um, uh, my life stolen. And Mizek says he broke his silence because uh, he didn't want to see other children and kids suffer the way he suffered so many years ago. Uh, and he, he didn't want them to experience the trauma he had experienced. We're live tonight. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA TV News. And we will have team coverage on the report tomorrow to explain what it all means. We also have the very latest from State Attorney General Josh Shapiro and how Pittsburgh Bishop David Zubik is responding to the report.